Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyana Muhammad Wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam Amma ba'da Habatifillah It's important for us to have a understanding or a correct understanding of what it means to be Salafi or what it means to follow the menhaj of the Salaf. It's not something we should be fearful of. It's not something we should be ashamed of but rather we should embrace it because as our Mashaykh clarify and as we know from the Salaf al-Salih that when we refer to the Salaf we're referring to the Sahaba وَتَابِعُونَ لَهُمْ بِأَسَانِ وَبَعْدِهِمْ يَجَلَ تَابِعِهِمْ مِنَ السَّلَفِ Meaning that we are talking about the Sahaba They're the Ras in the origin and the Asl of the Salaf And then we're talking about the Tabi'een, their students وَتْبَاعَ تَابِعِينَ Those who follow them in righteousness And those after them in general we refer to in a general means as the Salaf or those following the Sabila Salafia, which is the Madhab of the Salaf. Imam Ibn Hajar Rahmatullah Alayhi Rahmatul Wasiyah said, Qawluhu kana salaf ay min sahaba fa min ba'dihim. So Imam Ibn Hajar, in his discussion, in explaining a hadith of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, was referring to the fact that the Salaf is the Sahaba and those who follow them, meaning those who follow them in righteousness. And those who follow them in righteousness, this is a reference to the path in Sabil Mu'mineen. As Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Kitab al Kareem, وَمَنْ يَشَاقِقَ الرَّسُولُ مِنْ بَعْدِ مَا تَبَيَّنَ لَهُ هُدَى وَيَتَّبِعْ غَيْرَ سَبِيلِ الْمُؤْمِنِينَ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Kitab al Aziz, He says, وَسَابَقُونَ الْأَوْلَى قَالْ وَمَنْ يَشَاقِقَ الرَّسُولُ مِنْ بَعْدِ مَا تَبَيَّنَ لَهُ هُدَى Then whoever differs with the messenger after guidance has come to him. After guidance has been clarified for us, we yet mu'minin and follow the path of other than the mu'minin, letting us know that the path of the mu'minin is the path of the salaf. It's the path in the sunnah of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam wa tabi'un tabi'in. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Fi kitabihi al kareem وَالسَّابِقُونَ الْأَوَّلُونَ مِنَ الْمُهَاجِرِينَ وَالْإِنصَارِ وَالَّذِينَ اَتَّبِعُونَ بِإِحْسَانِ رَضِيَ اللَّهُ عَنْهُمْ وَرَضُوا عَنْهُمْ وَعَدَّ لَهُمْ جَنَّاتٍ تَجْرِي تَحْتِيَ الْأَنْحَارِ خَالِدِينَ فِيهَا أَبَدًا ذَلِكَ الْفَوْزُ الْعَظِيمُ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says في كتابه الكريم And this is also in reference, this is referring to the Sahaba رضي الله تعالى عنهم مجمعين and as we said, that they're the Ras of the Salaf, they're the head of the Salaf. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, the, from the first, those who preceded us, preceded us in goodness, min al-muhajirin wal ansar, the muhajirin, those who left Mecca to make hijrah to Medina, wal ansar, the ansar were those who accepted those companions, radiyallahu ta'ala ajma'in, in Medina. وَلَذِينَ تَبُعُمْ بِإِحْسَانِ And those who follow them in righteousness. رضي الله عنهم Allah is pleased with them. Is there any pleasure greater than that? Allah is pleased with them and they are pleased with Him. And He has prepared for them paradise underneath which rivers flow to dwell in forever. That is the supreme success. So it lets us know the Sabila Mu'mineen is the, is the supreme success. And that also lets us know that that path is the path of the Salaf al-Salih. Ridwan Allahi alayhim. 
And likewise, if that's the path to Jannah, if that's the path to success, if that's the path that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala praises, how is it that we have dua today who say you don't have to follow the Salaf or that you don't have, to, you know, those are outdated ways. We're looking forward, you're looking back. How is it that we have dua claiming that Salafiyah has no precedence, that it's just a main man-made uh, theorem, a man-made practice, a man-made minhaj, a methodology? It's a divine methodology because it's sanctioned by the Book of Allah and the Sunnah of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wa Alaihi Wasallam. The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wa Alaihi Wasallam said, مَا تَزَلْ طَيْفَةٌ مِنْ أُمَّتِي ظَاهِنِينَ لَلْحَقِّ حَتَّى يَأْتِيهُمْ أَمْرَ اللَّهِ وَهُمْ عَلَى ذَلَكِ The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, There won't cease to be a group from my nation letting us know there's a divine sabil. There is a path. There is a way. There won't cease to be a group from my nation that's on the truth. Until the, the, the hour is established, until the command of Allah is established, and they will be on that. So letting us know Ahlul Sunnah was present in the past, present up until now, and will be present in the future, inshallah ta'ala. So, and... How do we know who Ahlul Sunnah is? It is those who are following the Sabil al Mu'minin, those who are following the Minhaj of the Salaf. And this is what I want to encourage myself and my brothers and sisters to follow. Shaykh al Islam ibn Taymiyyah, Rahmatullah alayhi, Rahmatullah wasi'ah, he said when articulating about the usul that we should return to, which is the Madhab of the Salaf, he said, Rahmatullah alayhi, Rahmatullah wasi'ah, he said, Mutabah fi ifbat ahkamillah kitabillah wa sunnati rasulihi sallallahu alayhi wa ala alihi wa sallam wa sabila sabikun a sabikin wal awaleen la yajuz ifbat hukum shari biduni havi al usula thalatha nasin wa istanbatin bihav. This is a beautiful, beautiful statement by Imam Shaykh al Islam ibn Taymiyyah. He said, that verily the means for affirming a sh uh, the rulings of Allah, the Ahkamillah, it is the book of Allah and the Sunnah of His Messenger, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Wasabil as Wal and the path of the Sabiqeen, those people who preceded, and those first generations. This means the Sahaba. Radiallahu ta'ala anhum ajma'een wa tabi'een wa tabi'a tabi'een. Rahimahum Allah jami'an. And then he says, La yajuz ithbat hukum shari biduni hadhi al-usul al-thalatha. It is not permissible to affirm a sharia ruling without those three without those three foundations. And then what does he say? Nassan wa istinbatin bihav. By te textually or by deriving the rulings from those sources under any conditions. Fawa'id, ahabit fillah, there's many benefits in that. And one of the things you'll find from the Salaf and you'll find from the scholars of Ahlul Sunnah Tiwul Jama'ah is that one of the things, and this is one of the things I benefit from our Shaykh, Shaykh Ibrahim Rahayli, he used to emphasize this a lot, that it's important when you describe things to use Sharia terminologies. So when we say we're Salafi, for example, this is something that has a Sabil. It's a Sharia-based term, it's not a new term. When you say you're Naqshabandi, you're Diobandi, you're Ashari, you're going to an, an individual. You're going to a place, you're having intisab or ref making, you're referring what you practice based upon a name which is not Sharia based. It's based on the, the place of Dioban. It's based on, based on uh, Abu Hassan al Ash'ari, or it's going back to uh, the Naqshbandi Tariqa, or it's going back to uh, 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 Abu Mansur al Maturidi. This is why we say they're not Salafi. This is why we say they're not from Ahlul Sunnah Tiwul Jama'ah. Because their path is going back, their intisab is not going back to a Sharia-based term, back to the book and the Sunnah 
and the madhab of the Salaf, not to what the Salaf of Saleh, what they referred to as the Sabil al-Mu'mineen. Another benefit, look at this Al-Fab. Shaykh al-Islam, he uses the terminologies. He says, was Sabil al-Sabiqeen wal awwaleen and the path of the those who preceded and came before. He used the same alfaz, the same terminologies that are used in the ayah, that are used in the Book of Allah, where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Kitab al-Kareem, وَالسَّابَقُونَ الْأَوَّلُونَ مِنَ الْمُهَاجِرِينَ وَالْإِنصَارِ So, you know, what you'll see from the scholars of Ahl Sunnah is they'll try to use Sharia-based terminologies instead of taking all the terminologies from from secular sources or from here and from there and from inside their pockets and things like this but instead they will go back to the Sharia they'll go back to the Book of Allah and the Sunnah the Message of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam Taifat al-Mansura it comes from a, a hadith of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam uh, the Sabiqun, Awwaloon this comes from the Ayat all of these kind of terminologies you'll find that Ahl Sunnah uses and makes istikhdam of those, uh, those, those uh, terminologies and then Shaykh al-Islam, so he, he clarified that Sharia-based ter- uh, Sharia uh, practices should come from the Quran, the Sunnah, and the way of the Salaf. Not from, uh, you know, Mubtadi'een, not from the Takfiri'een, not from the Khawarij and their newly invented matters of making Takfir of, of people for the major sins or spending all their times on the leaders and all of these things. All of these things go by the wayside. All of these things, they they have no meaning in the Sharia because they are built on an usul which is not that usul. They're based on usul of mubtadia, of emphasizing one aspect of the deen, taking it to its extreme so that way they can make takfir of any and everyone. How many people make takfir of us just for sharing this information they make takfir to you because it differs with their ideologues for example Faisal Jamaica it differs with what he's saying he's teaching you that you need to come out of the womb making takfir of everyone that's really his tarbiyah I've listened to him I don't care what people say I've listened to him for years I know what he said I have we used to have tons of his tapes we know we have the nasus from his own lips this is the tarbiyah they give you they don't teach you to fear Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and do the other aspects of the deen, but rather they emphasize and are extreme and distorting principles in the soul of Ahl Sunnati wa Jama'ah. Wallaha Musta'an. In another uh, excellent statement by Shaykh al Islam ibn Taymiyyah, Rahmatullah alayhi, Rahmatullah wasiyah, this shows the difference between those Imams of the religion and for example, these modern day du'at. And, and I don't mean to belittle them, except that they belittle themselves with their own statements of deviance. Those people who belittle the tariq of the Salaf. Those people who, who belittle the Salafi minhaj. And the scholars of Ahl Sunnah. Listen to what Shaykh al Islam says and then compare that to what you hear some of these modern contemporary du'at, what they're saying about Salafi and Salafi scholars don't know. and. You know, they used to do this and they made mistakes here and they made mistakes here. Listen to what Shaykh al-Salam ibn Taymiyyah says about the madhab of the Salaf and adhering to that madhab. Qala Shaykh al-Islam, he said, La aid, la aid, ala men adhar a madhab of Salaf wa intasab, wa intasab, wa intasab ilayhi. Wa tazi ilayhi. Bil yajibu kubul dhalika minhu bi ittifaq. Bin al madhab al Salaf. La yukun illa al haqqa. Shaykh al Islam ibn Taymiyyah he said, he said, there is no harm, there is no problem with adhering and showing and illustrating and practicing the madhab of the salaf and considering yourself from that path. If you say you're from the madhab of the salaf, it means you're saying you're salafi. And strictly adhering to it. He said, rather, it is an obligation to accept that from the person who is doing that, and that's with ittifaq. He's talking about ittifaq al ulama. He said, for in al madhab salaf, la yakun illa al haqqa. He said, because the madhab of the salaf, it doesn't come except for with the truth, meaning that it is, it is a divine, it's a divine madhab, it's a divine minhaj. 
once we can accept that, you can, you you have a direction. But if you listen to the du'a of Shar, the du'a of Bida, what they're saying about the Salafi Minhaj, you you wonder what what is the correct Islam? What is the correct Sabil? What is the correct way? The correct way is following the Quran, the Sunnah, and the Madhab of the Salaf. That's what it is. From the Salafi Minhaj is avoiding bid'ah, is, 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 is adherence to the Sunnah of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, If the Prophet Sallallahu the Prophet Sallallahu said the Jews are breaking the 71 sects, Christians 72 sects, my Ummah in the 73 sects, all of them in the fire except one. He said, who are they, Ya Rasulullah? He said, those who are upon what I'm upon and my companions. That's why we say the Sabil al-Mu'mineen. So that means there are Muslim groups and sects that will go to the fire. In general, that's their thing. We don't make that, we don't refer to a, uh, an individual from that. Because that's a whole nother hukum when you talk about an individual. For example, I don't say, oh, this person went with Jamaat to Tablik or he's a Tabliki, he's going to hell. I can't say that. I don't have that. That's not my right. I can't make that, uh, can't, that hukum on him. That's from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Nor can I say, so and so calls himself Salafi, he's going to Jannah. La, I can't say that. That's with Allah Azza wa Jalla. But what we can say, we can say that that madhab, that minhaj of the Jamaat to Tablik is a Sufi uh, madhab and it goes away from the Sunnah of the Prophet Sallallahu that it has some bid'ah and it has some distortion. What we can say is Akhwan al muslimin is a political ideology which has aspects of Islam and aspects of, of, of bid'ah and political secularism and the call for revolution and reform through secular uh, political ideologies. We can say that about them. But we can't say, oh, he's a Khwani, he's going to hell. No. So we have to be careful of that, Ahabatifillah. The Shahid is, is Salafiyya is, is the path that rejects and refutes Bid'ah. Also from the Madhab of the Salaf, also from the Madhab of the Salaf, is the Ahl Sunnah gives importance to Aqidah, to Creed. They give importance to Tawheed because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَمَا خَلَقْتُ الْجِنَّ وَالْإِنْسَلَ لِعَبُدُونَ I have not created mankind in the jinn except for the purpose of worshiping. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Kitab al-Kareem, وَلَقَدْ بَعَثْنَا فِي كُلِّ أُمَّةٌ رَسُولٍ إِنْ نِعْبُدُ اللَّهَ وَاجْتَنِبُوا تَعْبُودٍ And I've sent to every nation a messenger to worship Allah alone and avoid the ta'bood. So Ahl Sunnah gives uh, ihtimam, they give importance to Tawheed and worshiping Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala alone. Ahl Sunnah also gives importance to Tezkiyah as Imam al-Albani articulated it in contemporary times to uh, to purifying oneself and to uh, reform oneself, to reform one's society. This is the path of Ahl Sunnati wal Jama'ah. Ahl Sunnah also is free from those other menahij of making takfir and without the right to do so, without the duwabit, without the ahkam, without the criterion, which is the criterion of Ahl Sunnati wal Jama'ah. Unlike the Khawarij in those contemporary takfiris, this is why we reject ISIS. This is why we reject Faisal. This is why we reject Abu Qadada. This is why we reject uh, Al Qaeda. This is why we reject Shabab. This is why we reject all of those innovative groups uh, that call to make a takfir of the leaders, al Atlaq, that don't look at the Ahkam and the Dawabit of takfir, that don't look at the Mu'ana of takfir, those things which prohibit making takfir on a specific individual. Ahl Sunnah is gives importance to details. Ahl Bidah la. Ahl Bidah la. They look to what they feel. What conforms with their hawa. What conforms with their desires. If they don't like someone, they'll just make takfir of them. If they don't like this one, they'll say he's a mubtadi'ah. Without looking at any, no du'abit, no criteria. This is from the usul of hizbiyah. It's the usul of, his, of the Hizbiyin. You're either with us or against us. This is Hizbiya, Khalis. And this is why Ahl Sunnah rejects it. And those are just some of the things about Ahl Sunnah Tiwul Jama'ah. And I just wanted to share the, 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 and, and emphasize the importance of adhering to the Madhab of the Salaf, the Madhab of, the, of, of Ahl Sunnah Tiwul Jama'ah. 
the Salafiyin, Salaf, Salaf Salih, Salafiyun, those in contemporary times who are trying to adhere to that madhab. A last point that I want to make is the qaida. Al-Ibr that the reality of something is in its substance, not in its name. For example, someone may call themselves Salafi, or call themselves Salafi Jihadi, Salafi Tikfiri, Salafi whatever. But the reality is in their practice. Someone may claim to be Salafi, but they could be the biggest Hizbis. How many Hizbis do we know who say that you're either with us or you're against us? If you don't take the position of Sheikh so-and-so, you are a Hizbi. If you don't take get this, we're going to warn against you. If you're not with our group and get down with us, we're going to warn against your da'wah. This is Hizbiya Khalis. This is the Asab. This is Taqlid of Muqtadiya principles. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil. Anything I said that was correct is from Allah Azza wa Jal. Anything I said that was incorrect, anything I said that was correct was from Allah. Anything I said that was incorrect was from myself and the Shaitan who sallallahu alayhi wa sallam ala Muhammad.